Water coming right up. Welcome to 2020. The world has been brought to its knees by this tiny little deadly virus called the coronavirus. Follow the guidelines provided by your country. In the United States, you can go to cdc.gov slash coronavirus to get the latest update on how to prevent the spread of this disease and what are the symptoms and whether you have it or how you can get access to healthcare based on the symptoms that you have. And the current advice right now is to actually stay at home. Um, so basically that means that we, we can contain the spread of the virus by we confining ourselves in our home and not spreading this virus. So this is a pandemic and this pandemic brings a lot of um, challenges and one of the challenges is sourcing toilet papers. So the toilet paper um, has been very scarce uh, in the grocery stores and this is because of panic buying. And when people buy in bulk, people who actually need toilet paper don't get it. And there are empty shelves in the grocery stores uh, for toilet papers. So this is a problem. So I sometimes joke with my wife saying that probably toilet papers are more valuable than an engagement ring from Costco. Um, so in summary, toilet paper is expensive. And especially in a pandemic, when there is a fragile supply and demand that is not being met, the value of toilet paper goes up. So different countries have different cultures that also have different solutions for the same kind of problem. So if you were to travel to a country like uh, India, uh, you would not get a, uh, a toilet paper if you were to visit a restroom. So I highly suggest go and watch uh, Wilbur Sarangunaraj video on how to actually clean the buttocks without using toilet paper with water. Um, and he makes it really funny. So go ahead and watch that. Uh, but I have a slightly different solution because that solution is not applicable here in the United States. Um, so in order to move away from toilet paper, we decided to get a bidet. And this was before the pandemic had started. And uh, this was when we bought the house. We planned for this. We put an electrical socket right next to the toilet. So basically, we, were, we knew that we were going to get a bidet. And the few reasons for that is it's kind of slightly more hygienic. Touch-free, it's almost uh, because you have to touch a button on the remote and it's convenient and it's fast. Um, so basically, this is the reason why we decided to get a bidet. And these are the few features that we were looking for. We wanted some warm water, heated seat, the air should be warm. Um, especially all this is because um, the winters here are kind of very harsh. Um, some kind of night light, the nozzle should be stainless steel some kind of remote, preferably wireless, slow closing lids so that you don't hear a smashing sound when you close it, personalized to every person who uses it, and most importantly, it should be easy to install. I don't, and I don't think I would need a plumber to do this, so that was one of the reasons why we got this. And um, it should be available in two different shapes, ho hopefully elongated and round, and only works when someone is on the toilet, so this is the most important because if there are kids running around, pressing buttons, you know, that's going to be a mess in the toilet. But anyway, so those, these are a few features that we were looking for. And this particular Buy Bidet Plus BB2000 fit the bill. And we bought this using one of those Amazon Day Sale uh, last year. And this is a great purchase. The most um, easy thing was the ease of install. So I'll just go over um, how quickly we got this installed. So this has motion sensor, so you come into this room, that's on the light. Okay. Um, first thing we'll do is uh, turn off the water, which we're going to do next. Okay, turn off the cold water that goes to the toilet. Turn off our water, uh, so that's flush. Flush 
one more time. To get rid of as much water as possible. Okay, think all our water is out. Connect this guy here. Okay. I think finger type is good. Connect this guy in here. Uh, let's connect this guy here. So this comes applied. So the water comes in goes into this tank and comes out from here as well. I'll use this connector to connect this guy in here and this goes to the side of the bidet. The next thing is let's remove this thing off. So this should be very easy. So you pop this off. So I think this is like a template. And uh, the thing just locks in here, and uh, so this needs to be in the back. The template is down, and this can move a little bit backwards and forwards. The next thing is uh, putting that thing on here. Okay, wow, okay. That was easy. So, there's some space here. Make sure it opens. Connect this guy. Last step is to connect the power adapter. So let me go turn on the water. I'll ask my wife to see if there are any leaks here and yell. Yeah. Okay. I have to sit on this to actually demonstrate how this actually works. So that's the occupation sensor. Um, and this is the remote that comes with it. And that is the bidet section. Okay, so the most important thing that you need to know is how to stop it, that is this button, and let's see how this thing works. And this is the remote and this is the button that everyone usually uses. So that is the button for uh, water coming out of that nozzle that is your regular clean uh, and that moves the nozzle up and down. Uh, this is for the feminine water uh, and that is for the adjustable warm air where you can adjust the temperature. That button I would be very cautious about because there's a stream of jet coming through that tiny little hole and it's very specific at where it hits. So again, you know, with warning. And there are other buttons over there where you can regulate the temperature of the water, regulate the temperature of the heated seat. Uh, you can set timers, you can set the time that is displayed over here and all those different settings. So this is great. So it had everything that we wanted in this tiny little remote, but you have to press this remote. So the idea is to make probably this particular bidet smart. So what I mean by smart is actually not even press this button. And um, to do that, we would want to do something uh, using voice. So the solution is see how this remote communicates with this bidet. And you can see that this remote uh, uses infrared signal that is sent just like your remote on your television is being sent. Um, so what we have to do is intercept the signal, store it, and then we can retransmit it. Um, so in order to decipher what is being sent, uh, so I used a sensor that's connected to GPIO 14, and this is the ESP home settings that I used um, to actually record the signal. So you just 
connect this, go to your home assistant, read your logs for this particular device, keep pressing the button, and that will give you the raw um, on and off signal that is recorded by this particular sensor. So it's great. So I went ahead and recorded everything. And then in order to send the signal, what I did is actually connected an IR LED that transmits at 940 nanometers, uh, the positive connected to 5 volts, the negative end connected to uh, 2N222 transistor with a 200 ohm resistor in series um, that is connected to the ground. The brace of the transistor is connected to GPIO4 and basically these are the settings that I use which is actually D2 on ESP8266 um, and this is that code that we recorded in our previous step and this particular setting acts as a virtual switch on home assistants. So basically once you have it on home assistant as a switch you can toggle on and off that switch using your favorite voice assistant. It could be Siri, it could be Google Assistant, or it could be Alexa. So no matter which one, it would go and toggle that switch, and that switch emulates this LED sending this particular um, signal. So this is pretty cool because then you can go and create routines for each person in your house. That is, they can have a particular setting to be on for a particular amount of time, and then it turns on the fan, turns off the water, all that so you can create that routine for each person and expose that switch to your voice assistant and uh, putting it all together I created a device that has both of these because these are kind of very inexpensive so you have your sensor you have your uh, uh, transmitter it's actually a puff board that has all the components soldered onto it and this is the ESP 8.6s the ESP home settings that I showed before you so I'll just show you a short demo on how this works so you just uh, in the demo, I ask uh, Google to go and turn on a certain routine and it turns on, so go ahead and watch that. Hey, Clean my Water coming right up. Oh my God, it's working. <laughs> 